you need to reframe the way you even think about electricity completely. If you're thinking about getting a Tesla Model Y or thinking about getting Sunrun Solar or another electric vehicle or another type of solar, you have to fundamentally change the way you think about electricity to have it go as far as possible for you. There's so many videos across all of YouTube that get into the nitty gritty details of this electric car feature and this solar panel feature and how many watts this solar panel does compared to this solar panel. You can dive down the details, dive down the details, but there's not enough big picture explainers of how to rethink the way your home even uses energy. And then when people do get out of the details of how the actual like tech and electrical equipment works, their ROI videos are terrible. Everyone's calculating ROI wrong. And I wanna show you a different way to think about it completely based on a whole home energy coverage concept. The goal is to cover 100% of the energy that your house needs and 100% of the miles that your electric car drives, okay? So here we go. Household car miles, all right? So previously, how much were we paying for that? Okay, my household was paying $50 a month, our true up bill to Edison because our first system was too small. That's a completely side tangent that a lot of houses have solar systems that are too small, which puts a bad taste in everyone's mouth and no one's getting the full picture of what it's like to have a system that covers a giant part of your roof, okay? So our old true up bill was $50 a month, all right? But if you take the estimate that Tesla is saying, if we bought all of our energy that we've been using straight from SoCal Edison without solar, it'd be 300 a month, okay? So let's just say 50 to 300 a month, which I understand is a big, like, but everyone's numbers are gonna be different. And in the second, we're gonna do it without numbers, okay? And then car miles, previously with our gas car, we were filling up three times a month for a hundred bucks each, okay? So 300. This is your starting point. Everyone obsesses about the financing payment for building solar or they get scared of the sticker shock of the entire system all in and don't even think about financing. And then everyone's like, oh, it takes seven, 10, 11 years to ROI on the system. Completely reframe that, okay? You can get 20 year financing at floating up and down the same way mortgage rates are at, okay? So for between $350 and $600, can you beat, can you beat $350 to $600 on a 20 year financing deal to build out your whole solar roof? The answer is yes, yes, you can. All right, look, so that's with my napkin math, okay? About the nap, back on the napkin on what it was like when I was going through all of this. But let's do it without numbers, okay? Because everyone's numbers are different. Everyone's numbers are different. Let's do it without numbers, all right? Here it is. Your gas money and your electric bill, add those together. If you can get your solar financing for less than that and cover your entire roof so that you're covering all of your car miles and all of your household needs, then you are in the black and it's a good deal. So we eliminated two bills from your household, consolidated it down to one bill from your household, okay? So then let's take it even a step past that, okay? You're covering all car miles, all car, all household. And then with electricity, there's a thing called surplus, okay? Your solar panels are gonna produce even more than what your car uses and what your household uses. So what can this do? This can now make you even more money. So then what are our options for monetizing our surplus? We can, let's erase the board and I'll show you options for monetizing the surplus. Okay, so for one flat payment, you're covering all of your car miles and all of your household usage. And then your system that you build out, your entire roof is going to have surplus left over, okay? What can you do with the surplus left over? You can sell it to a utility, you can utility, you can sell it to a CCA, which is a community choice aggregator, which oftentimes pays higher than a utility. You can mine Bitcoin with it. You can use Tesla's virtual power plant and sell it back during emergencies. This is what the other ROI videos don't tell you is that when you build an entire system that covers your entire roof, you're knocking out two household bills and you're creating income. So then basically what you do is you take the one flat payment and you minus your surplus profit and then that's your actual 
monthly. And you compare that to the previous number that you were spending on energy and you're in the black. It's a great deal. This is how you should calculate your ROI and this is why you should go big. Don't just tinker at the edges and get a small solar system that covers part of your usage and don't get an electric car without the solar system. Rethink completely the way that your household finances work in relation to energy. Instead of renting your energy and having your ga monthly gas for your car expenses and your monthly electrical expenses flow up and down with the market, lock in a flat payment and stop renting your energy. And then on top of that, you're building home equity within your house. So play the long game with your house and play the long game with your electric vehicle and upgrading all of your solar and knock out two household bills and completely rethink the way that you even think about energy.